Hello and welcome, 13th of June, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Overcast but muggy today, still very warm. I came to the realisation last week, it's June. How did that happen? Looking back at last week's video, I still had a couple of my beds that were just covered in weeds, needed clearing out. I've got some tomatoes I had to transport over to the allotment to clear the coal frame out for some squash that I've got growing at home that needed to go out. So, oh, it was going to take a serious week of activity to get back on track. Let's have a look at that activity. This was one of the beds that was covered in weeds last week. I came down one night after work, just went for it. I was determined to clear this bed. I'm determined to get this bed cleared. See? <laughs> right, let's, let's watch me do it. Dig. Dave. Dig. 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 Well, that's done. That took me an hour, three quarters of an hour for the weeding, and a quarter of an hour for the digging. Oh, I just had to get it done. Treat it like a, a workout or something. Oh, so I'll leave it for a couple of days any weeds or grasses that I've missed will dry out in the sun. Pick them off at the weekend. I might have caught my breath back by then. So this bed behind me did have a load of strawberries in it but they were all old wet producing so I'm starting afresh with my strawberries. I was going to try and remove all the soil and stuff. I got waylaid on other tasks. Grass started encroaching. I needed to cover it over. I did use an old metal sheet. It didn't quite look right. I had some paving slabs at home from when I redid my garden a couple of months back. Move them here. Let's watch me struggle with heavy paving slabs in the heat. Try and put the slabs in neatly and avoid any gaps. Realise you haven't got enough pavers to fill the space, arrange them randomly, don't like that, revert back to plan A, fill the remaining gaps with old wardrobe doors. So temporarily covered over to suppress the weeds, those paving slabs will go down the grass paths I've got in winter, I think winter job, make sure I've got less grass to cut. Right that looks okay, it'll suppress the weeds. What's next? So this was another one of the beds that was covered with weeds last week. This had more grass in it. Um, the green manure I had in here, did say on the packet good for ground cover. It's not, it's just single stems with a really shallow root. So this, I'm less confident it's gonna be okay. So, because there's just loads of grasses in there. Um, but dig it over again in a couple of weeks time after the heat and sunlight's got to the grasses that are in there. I, I did get rid of most of the greenery if you like. The green manure laid on top at the minute. We'll dig that in in due course. The bees might get one last suck of those beautiful flowers before it gets turned into the soil. I did to be honest, a, a, a few of those and replant them elsewhere because they do look nice. So hopefully they will take. And I've got my Christmas potatoes here that I thought were dead, planted August, September time. Killed by frost or so I thought. They've popped back up. I've earthed them up. There's a couple of other random potatoes that I've earthed up too.
Right, so I say less confident about this bed, but another digging over, I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, next, tomatoes. Right, so it's time to get the remaining tomatoes I had at home, either into the shed slash greenhouse, where the rest went two or three weeks back, or out into the plot. Using my beautiful cross-referencing system with a picture on the front. There's a dog in a cup and sauce on that one. That's unknown. I forgot to write that one down when I put it in the pot, but you get the gist. I've got black Russians, Craigella, Orange Queen and Tigerella to make sure I've got at least four of each type in the shed slash greenhouse. All my Craigellas are going to go in there and one Orange Queen, the rest are going to go out in the plot. These pots, compacted water and paper, like paper mache but without glue, they're holding up pretty well, they're holding up pretty well. So of the two types of pot I made, there's one with compacted paper and water squashed down in a plant pot and then there's just the rolled up newspaper type. The compacted paper and water, that's held up pretty well. What tends to happen with a just rolled up newspaper is that it, you end up, end up with that situation which happened with my aubergines. I had to emergency repot them and I didn't have um, any pots to hand, so they ended up in all sorts of containers. So like I said, these have been in a cold frame, exposed for two or three weeks. They should all be fine. Time to get them potted up or in the pot. So where am I going to put my remaining tomatoes then? I'm going to put them in the middle of my onions. So some of these onions which I planted October, November time, started to bolt because of the heat and maybe I haven't watered them enough. Tomatoes and onions make good companion planting. The smell of the onions apparently keeps the bad insects off the tomatoes. So I'm going to take out my bolted onions, leave the rest to grow, put the tomatoes where the bolted onions were, bit of wind protection, bit of companion planting. That's the plan. So let's get the bolted onions up then. These are a variety called Senshu Yellow. Um, let's see what they look like, because they obviously won't store, so I'm gonna have to eat them. Um, that's not a bad thing though, is it? And there we have 16 bolted Senshu onions. Plenty left. Time to get the tomatoes in. Bit of a bonus feature, peas. I got my emergency peas out of the shed slash greenhouse. These are my backup in case the other ones failed. So I've put them, I'm in a temporary structure, some old metal shelving just for them to climb up. They're doing all right. The unprotected peas, I don't think there's any left. Excuse, there's a few weeds here because I've been doing the big weeding jobs rather than the, what I call the micro weeding jobs here. Um, but the protected peas, or semi-protected peas, protected by spiky twigs, there are some in there. They, they should be all right. They should be all right. That's the pea update. What else? So at the back in the nursery area, I've moved my cabbages out from the shed slash greenhouse. Put them out here to make some room for the tomatoes. I don't normally like covering things over at the allotment. I don't have fruit cages or veg cages. I just think it spoils the view. But just while these are a little bit bigger, covered in some chicken wire. But all is good there. 
Dig. Dave. Dig. 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 Oh, what a week that was. I'm tired out. Did all the streaming and everything. All good though, all good. I am back on track. It's all looking nice. I've got a greenhouse full of tomatoes. Starting to produce flowers. I've got more potatoes than I could ever dream of. All good. I've got my squash, if they survive. Ready to come out here in a few weeks time. I've got two cleared beds ready for stuff. It's all good, it's all good. Right, thank you for watching. Click subscribe, send me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.